the United States offers a wide range of educational and cultural exchange opportunities, including professional internship programs, high school and university study, training, and short-term programs. These opportunities will provide you with a broad exposure to the United States culture and society while allowing you to gain invaluable work experience. This video will serve as a brief overview of the requirements involved in obtaining an internship in the United States as well as providing tips about getting that internship. A student visa or an exchange visitor visa must be arranged before traveling to the United States. If a student travels to the United States without a visa and enters under the visa waiver program, they cannot change status to any other category. Since citizens of Belgium and most of Europe can enter under the visa waiver program, this is very important. It is impossible to change status if you enter the United States entering the visa waiver program. Working without the proper visa and or work authorization, including working while waiting for a change to be granted, can be cause for arrest, detention, and deportation by U.S. immigration authorities. Please note, a student cannot arrange a proper visa alone. There must be an American sponsor to take care of the necessary paperwork on behalf of the individual. There are several key features of the internship program. For instance, participants must be currently enrolled in and pursuing studies at a foreign degree or certificate granting post-secondary academic institution outside of the United States. Or, participants must have graduated from such an institution no more than 12 months prior to his or her start date. The du maximum duration time for an internship is 12 months. And finally, all participants must have sufficient English ability to participate effectively in their internship. Most students will find their own internships. We suggest that you look for websites that allow you to search for special features such as uh, location, industry, job function, the time of the year of the internship, as well as a key word. We encourage you to speak with teachers, family, former employers, coaches, friends, anyone that you can think of who has a U.S. contact, especially in the fields of your interest. Meeting emailing, calling these individuals for information about careers and advice, as well as conducting your internship plan is critical. Plan your internship search just as you would a job search, but make sure to specify that you're interested in an internship rather than a permanent position. You can also talk to an educational advisor like myself about your specific situation. Internships can be paid or unpaid. This is very important to check with the company or organization before you take the position to determine if there will be a salary, a stipend, or no compensation at all. Academic credit is a possibility for many internships. However, the internship will need to be approved for credit before you arrive, and you may need a faculty sponsor. Keep in mind that there are several fees involved. For instance, the visa will cost $140, and there's a service fee to, to think about. The total cost of these fees will run you between $700 and $1,400. This includes the service fee, the visa fee, and again, the organizational program fees. It is important for you to have a clear idea of what's expected, both from you and what you expect from the employer before the internship starts. Discuss the details and logistics with your internship sponsor before the start so that the internship will be a positive experience for both you and the company. Each firm or organization will have a unique deadline, specific requirements, and also expectations to follow through. For example, while most internships will require a resume and cover letter, others will request writing samples, transcripts, or even letters of recommendation. Be sure to follow the instructions. Some other tips include starting early. The earlier you start, the better. Adapting your CV and your cover letter to each internship that you apply for perfecting the documents that you're working on to make sure that they're correctly addressed and that there are no typos. Stay organized about who you contacted and when. Don't forget, as Belgians, you often speak many languages. This is a huge added value to any U.S. company. This form is a certificate of eligibility for exchange visitor status that must be obtained through one of the sponsor organizations approved by the Department of State or by a U.S. university. To find a visa sponsor, please go to the following website.
a number of U.S. organizations offer internship programs for international students and recent graduates. All such organizations have been approved to run the program by the Department of State and must abide by State Department program regulations. All sponsors will provide the necessary program application form and other paperwork to assist placements or even give guidance about how to locate an internship in the U.S. They will also ensure that participants have the proper U.S. health insurance and provide support for interns as needed during their program, such as a 24-hour hotline in case of emergency. Participants pay sponsors a program fee for these services. We recommend that students visit the websites of several sponsors to compare costs and services. Many sponsors work with local representatives overseas by giving students access and information and support services in their native language. SEVIS is a nationwide registration program for international visitors in the U.S. The SEVIS fee is used to register J-1 visa applicants, amongst others, in SEVIS, which is the Student and Exchange Visitor Information System. It is a web-based program for maintaining information on international students and exchange visitors and their dependents in the United States. The cost is 180 US dollars for J visas. Please visit the following website to find out more instructions. After you have obtained a DS-2019 form, be sure to have all the basic requirements of a general visa by visiting the Belgian U.S. Embassy website. Make sure that you have all of the visa requirements for the J visa by checking this following website. Be sure you have the original signed DS-2019 form and that you can have a proof of payment for your service fee. Make sure that you have filled out DS-160 online application. The DS-7002 form, which is a training internship placement plan, and also to have proof of financial support. Please call the following number to set up an appointment at the U.S. Embassy in Brussels. Have your credit card ready because it will cost you 15 euros for this phone call. Please consult these resources for additional information. And good luck in finding your internship in the United States.